What's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well, and as always, welcome back to another episode. Today's all about the highly awaited Ford Ranger pickup. Before I get started, please take a second, hit that subscribe button. Wouldn't want you to miss any new content, and as always, I truly appreciate it. Now let's get started. Ford hasn't had a mid-size pickup since discontinuing the Ranger in 2011. Since then, the segment's been dominated by the likes of the Chevy Colorado and Toyota Tacoma. That's all about the change, because Ford says the new Ranger is, and I quote, a real truck, with a fully boxed high-strength steel frame and six cross members. The front suspension has a double A-arm setup with monotube dampers. The rear is a traditional leaf spring and shock setup and a solid axle. You can get the Ranger in two configurations, a Super Crew or a Super Cab. Just like the F-150, the tailgate, hood, and front fenders are all aluminum. There's only one engine option for the Ranger, a 2.3 turbo EcoBoost engine putting out 280 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. Gas mileage on the engine has not been released, but as most EcoBoost engines have proven in the past, it'll probably do pretty well. The engine's gonna be made into a 10-speed transmission, which will be the same one in the F-150 and Mustang GT currently. The transfer case has a shift on the fly, two high, four high selection. Limited slip Dana rear is standard. The Ranger will come in three trims, XL, XLT, and the Lariat. For the off-roader in you, the FX4 package will be offered, which gives you an electronic locking differential, skid plates, off-road shocks, off-road tires, as well as Ford's new terrain management system, which has four modes, normal, grass, gravel, and snow, mud, and sand. Grass, gravel, snow mode simply numbs the throttle response a bit. Put it in mud, it also locks the truck into four high. While sand locks the truck into four high as well as cutting the trash control down and telling the transmission to grab the lowest gear possible. This will help you dig out of even the toughest situations. The FX4 also offers a first for Ford, which is a trail control. They say it's kind of like a cruise control for the trails. You set your speed for anything you want under 20 miles an hour and let the truck do the work. The interior feels very Ford-like, if that makes sense. It's familiar, but in a very nice way. I've always been a fan of Ford's interiors. It's a simple, clean, very user-friendly setup. Nothing overly clustered, which is good. And the 8-inch touchscreen for your SYNC 3 system is a nice touch. Prices for the Ranger is going to start around $25,000 and could go as high as $40,000 all decked out. Regardless of price, this truck has promise and I would love to get my hands on it for sure. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, I'm Kevin, this is Real Steel Cars, and I'll see you next time.